what differentiates you from people who are known as brave in society is the fact that they will still do what they need to do regardless of the fear that they feel and that's the point that you need to get up to fear is always going to be there under the surface at some point but it's up to you to decide if you're going to do something or if you're going to allow it to paralyze you Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Dina. I'm back with another video. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, afternoon, or evening. I just wanted to hop on this video real quick and just give you guys a brief weekly reflection because it's called a weekly reflection for a reason and I thought that it would only be befitting for the last day of this year. I don't know why it's so satisfying that the last day of the year falls on a Sunday and then like the next day is the 1st of January. So it's like a fresh start on a Monday. I mean, guys, come on now. So let's get into it. First and foremost, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also leave some things um, in the comments about, you know, what you've learned this year and what your resolutions are for next year and who knows all of us can keep you accountable in the comments you never know it really does a lot so if you see me looking downwards it's because i am looking at my notes because i did not want to end up rambling so hence the reason why i might be looking down at my phone so it's just my phone i'm looking at let's get into it First and foremost, do not allow fear to steal your future. A lot of us end up being so pressured because of fear that it comes up to the point that you're paralyzed and you don't end up doing anything. And honestly, if it goes on for too long, God forbid, you end up having a lot of regrets. So guys, excuse me, I'm here to tell you that even if you feel fear, it's very important to remember that you need to move um through that fear you know do not allow it to stop you because what differentiates you from people who are known as brave in society is the fact that they will still do what they need to do regardless of the fear that they feel and that's the point that you need to get up to fear is always going to be there under the surface at some point but it's up to you to decide if you're going to do something or if you're going to allow it to paralyze you so let's keep that in mind and let's make sure that fear does not have a stronghold over us because if it does Guys, it will really withhold you from a lot of things and really limit you. And I read this book called Do Not Be Afraid by Joyce Mayer. Um, I would definitely really recommend you guys to read it. It really taught me a lot about just the normal aspect of it, a little bit of the psychological, um, psych psychological aspect of it, and also um, the spiritual aspect of it. Guys, do not mind me. A homegirl took a nap. A homegirl is just here and there. So guys, don't mind me. Don't mind me. The next one is work smarter, not harder. A lot of us seem to think that if you work like really, really, really hard, that will bring you the results that you're looking for and that you're after, which is true to a certain degree, but at the same time, it really isn't because some people work really hard and yet not a chain. Um, a chain well achieve the result that they're after whereas um, you have other people that are just working way smarter about it and they end up getting the results that they were actually working for so just keep in mind that sometimes you just need to be strategic and that will just land you in a way better position than you thinking that you need to be putting all your blood sweat and tears into it in certain circumstances it's definitely needed but just don't allow yourself to be suffering the whole time when it's not needed sometimes you are your biggest enemy so let's keep that in mind let's keep that in mind the next thing is your fear of not being seen is what's holding you back you have to realize that in different points of life you're going to be put in the spotlight and you need to embrace that you know because i have seen that sometimes why people just don't like being in the spotlight is because they're either just insecure about something or overthinking it or just thinking about what other people will say guys do not worry about that skip those people people will always talk they might as well talk when you're doing something that you want to do do you get what i mean and on top of that even if you're not in the spotlight there's still going to be people that talking about you so you might as well just take your spotlight you know like bask in it you know live in it a little enjoy life and then you move about your life do you get what i mean we all have capabilities and capacities and talents that will sometimes put us into the spotlight and sometimes okay you might be a little bit overwhelmed at first which is completely fine but do not like downrate yourself you know do not underestimate yourself you deserve it give yourself a little applause you know? live it up and move on every one of us is going to be put in the spotlight at some point whether you like it or not whether it be at a presentation in school like me doing this youtube video or just i don't know like you standing on the altar at church is always going to be somewhere so you need to embrace it because it does a lot you know sometimes it helps you to get opportunities later on in life that you would have never thought of ever having so yeah embrace the spotlight is all I can say next thing is trust God I know a lot of us have our challenges and tribulations but trust God and lean on him lean not on your own understanding and remember that though 
you plan your steps the lord directs them the lord is the director and producer of your life okay your life is like a movie and god is the writer god is the producer god is everything the editor you 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 let me know you can you know give your input to the script and everything but at the end of the day god's the one putting out the main scripts thank you i hope you guys understood with that analogy if you guys did god bless you if you guys didn't God still bless you. He will give you an understanding. So let's move. Next point is... I need to open my phone. <laughs> okay, it's open. So the next thing is follow your gut. Guys, the amount of situations that I've landed myself in because I'm not following my gut? No, we cannot have that. Moral of the story is follow your gut. Most of the time, your gut feeling is quite right. Okay, I'm not going to lie. If sometimes it's a bit shaky, I'm not telling you to be following that shaky feeling. I'm just saying for the people that really know that when their gut is telling them something, they should follow it, please go and follow it. And most of the time, honestly, everybody has that little gut feeling that is most of the time quite accurate. So if I were you, I would just follow it, man. You know, sometimes you feel it deep down, but you want to ignore it due, um, due to feelings or like whatever you think you might know while you're not even seeing the big pic picture but like honestly guys <sighs> follow your God because at the end of the day if we ask God to direct our footsteps if we ask for the Holy Spirit to move through us that gut feeling is actually the Holy Spirit revelation 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 hallelujah hallelujah no 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 but let me not get ahead of myself but if you understand you understand if you don't you don't that's fine okay and um the next one that I put down was stand firm on your decisions and leave the doubts behind. Guys, if you're not a person that can at least stand firm on your decision, make a decision with full confidence and stand on it and be like, look, I have made my decision and that's where I stand and that's on period. <sighs> Guys, come on. Because the thing is like, even in the working field at school and life, it's going to make you a very unreliable person if you make decisions and you're doubting about it, you're very insecure. You're like, no, but what if this what if that at the end of the day whenever you make a decision even when it's a really good one there are always going to be different variables but as long as you've checked all the outcomes you've checked for god's inputs you've checked your gut feeling and you know you know all the research that you have done behind it all the necessary research dude stand by it and move okay guys like stand on business come on guys like if you choose a stick to the a that's why on tests and exams, some of us will be picking A and then suddenly we're like, mm, maybe it's C. You go and pick the C, you come and find out that the A was the right answer. Exactly. That's the one of the best examples I could have given because I know some of us are that way and that's fine guys. That's fine. We're here to learn, reflect and move on. And the last thing um, that I also just really saw, you know, reoccurring in my life a lot this year was also just reflection. The power of reflection, guys. I think I probably said it earlier, but let's say it again. The power of reflection, guys. There is so much power in it. Do not ever underestimate the power of reflection. During um, the reading of Atomic Habits of James Clare, which I finally finished today, literally today, um, I also saw a little part in the book that was also talking about reflection and how you cannot improve if you do not give yourself a review and if you do not reflect on your actions and everything else so guys do that from time to time i really urge you to do that because it's going to help you to just be able to grow and develop in the, into the person that you've been called to be so let's please do that guys it's, it's for your own good i kid you not and honestly if i have any more um reflections i'm not gonna lie you're gonna see that at some point throughout the rest of my videos because it's always gonna be somewhere there i kid you not it's always going to be somewhere there at some point but um that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i tried to keep it as brief as i could that's why um i decided to make this video because i thought it's only befitting to make a video on the last day of this year and um you know it, it was just a must it was just a must so i hope you guys have a wonderful new year um i wish you guys a lot of you know happiness good health and just improvement and a deeper relationship with god and fulfillment honestly and um that's it really i hope you guys have a wonderful also like new year's eve i hope you are with your family for all my christians i know you guys are in the church ready to make the devil rumble as we all should so yeah that's it for today and um yeah guys go to church go spend it with the lord and be trampling on the demons come on now <laughs> oh my days i cannot with myself half of the time but it's fine, Shia. God bless you all. And um, today's verse that we're going to be focusing on is Lamentations 3, verse 40. 
please meditate on it if you can because it's just about self-examination and that could really help you a lot have a wonderful day god bless you and a happy new year in advance bye